Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. So I am ready to kind of vary it up a bit. What we're going to do is uh, I want to start a new campaign. I know we just started the English campaign. If, you, um, if you've um if you been staying up to date on the channel and you're not watching this back in the past. But um, I'm going to do something where I'm going to kind of rotate a bit more. Uh, we're going to play as Portugal again. And I'm going to call this series proper Portugal because we're going to basically take all the information that we learned in the first Portugal playthrough and not do any of it because we did it all wrong. I, and by we, I mean you, because you, you, the viewer, you made all the mistakes. It wasn't me. I didn't have anything to do with it. But um, we're going to play with, uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's do Iron Man mode. Yes. And we'll go historic. Yeah, I have to have that on. We will do AI difficulty on hard, even though I, um, you know, failed miserably in the Portugal playthrough. I, I still just think that, um, you know, on hard, the AI will play at full skill and act more aggressively toward non-AI nations. So they will try to attack us, which is good, because what we're going to do is we're going to play the expansion game. So this is going to be the, uh, what do we call this one? We will call this one the Por proper Portugal. There we go. That makes sense. Proper Portugal. So here's the idea. What we're going to do is not go to war with anyone ever, because that's not the Portugal way. The Portugal way is to just very sneakily expand everywhere while no one's looking. And then all of a sudden just be like, hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah, we've got this little tiny bit of land here, but we have we have all of this. Every little bit. And part of the reason why I want to do this, um, why I want to play Portugal again right now, is because I'm doing that ahistoric England thing where we completely ignore colonization. And yet, I really like colonizing things. I, I love the idea of expanding. So, um, let's do this. I want to take the Foreman Alliance with Castile. Sounds good, because we don't want them to mess with us. I am playing with two mods, by the way. I'm playing with the... Uh, it's called font mod, tooltip font mod, which makes these... Notice how the tooltip is bigger, and instead of having little tiny things you can hardly read, it's got like a plus and a minus. And when you go to the missions, notice how it's a big X and a little green circle. Makes it a lot easier to see. And I'm also playing with the better diplomacy view mod, which makes the diplomacy view full screen, which is awesome. So that's what I've got. So we're going to do a offer alliance with Castile, since we're going to take that mission. We do have a revolt possible in Sueta. I also have learned how to pronounce things a lot better, which is sweet. Uh, who is the Curia controller? Hungary. Interesting. So we're not going to have any... any. It's nice when you start the game and you just happen to be the Curia controller. It's kind of cheap, actually, but... Um, yeah, we don't have the Curia. These are He's level 2, so we can't get him. We have an artist with lower stability costs. That would be really good because I want to get at least one or two stability right away. So we'll take him. Sounds good. Ooh, level twos and threes. Unfortunate, we don't get a guy. We can get national manpower or reinforce. I really like the one that increases morale. That plus three morale, excuse me, plus point three morale is really powerful. Instead, we will take the reinforce speed. Yeah. I'm almost positive the reinforced speed, is it effect here or just the speed that men get to our, I think it's just the speed men to get to our armies. Oh well. Now, we're going to play kind of not like fast right away, but um, we're going to kind of systematically do things. So we got that, now we're going to do the royal marriage because we get even more prestige from it, and then we're going to take improved prestige. And call to, oh god, I forgot to do it, no! That's the thing you have to remember to do every single time, is you have to cancel your darn alliance with England. So never mind, we're going to start over. <laughs> Quit the menu, exit the menu, back out, abandon ship! <laughs> Colonization Portugal hides from war at all costs. We will not go to war with anybody. Um, certainly not England. <laughs> so we're going to do proper Portugal... Uh, I think the settings stay the same. They do good. I apologize. This is the only time since it's Iron Man mode. We can't reload. We can't do anything. So you just gotta start over. That was a dumb mistake. Plus, nothing's really gonna change except now. Watch, we'll probably have control of Curia. No, England does. Okay. Well, the very first thing we're gonna do is say, "Hey, hey, hey, you. Bye, bye. We've broken our alliance with England, and we should have the same missions." I apologize for doing things like that, but I just—it's not. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna form an alliance with Castile again. We're going to offer an alliance. They will say yes. And uh, this changes again. Oh, now we don't get the minus stability. So, yeah, it's still, it's still... Oh, gosh, we don't get any advisors, apparently. Just a military dude. Ooh, morale of armies. Um, yeah, I like morale of armies a lot. It's really nice. 
and we're gonna take our guys and we're gonna put the guy here and have him go ahead and patrol Sevilla and we'll put the other guy this one here in charge of that fleet and we'll have them you know let's uh we'll, we'll hold off on that part we're gonna wait a couple days to get this stuff going okay so we got that yeah sorry England not doing it and then we'll take the one to get a royal marriage with Castile but we have to wait until we have to wait until the 12th of December unless they ask us which they might right so our goal again let's just pretend like that whole first couple minutes didn't even happen <laughs> so that's the only time we get to restart next is to um, yeah so just very quickly we're gonna save up our stability sorry save up our administrative points if we can although I do want one point of stability because then we can uh, then we can go straight into the first idea group it'll take you know 570 power currently we'll get our first idea group we'll start colonizing and we, we're just gonna rush to colonization avoid as much war as possible next we're gonna take the improve our prestige mission and this is where I do think I'm probably gonna spend my first little bit of administrative power bumping up stability because it's it's not very expensive in fact you know what we're gonna do and this might be something that people would think is crazy. Sueta here, Sueta, Cueta, however you pronounce it, we make exactly 1.38 gold per year off of this. It does provide us with 10 manpower, which over 10 years means we get an extra 100 manpower, big freaking deal, from here. Um, so it's it's just, it's garbage. We, we make almost nothing from it. The only thing we really get by having Sueta is that we get... Um, a little tiny bit of extra trade power in the Sevilla trade node. So I'm actually going to sell it. I'm going to get rid of this darn province, because that will do a couple things. It'll get rid of the religious unity problem that we have, which will lower revolt risk, lower the cost of boosting our stability, our stability, right? So it'll be, it'll go down to a hundred, and it'll just generally cause less problems, fewer problems. It's, it's just a defensive nightmare. It's got revolt risk. It's, I don't like it. I don't want it. We're going to sell it. We're going to go, it's going to go away. I'm going to sell it to Morocco. Morocco will buy it for 40. Okay, how about Algiers? How much would you pay for it? 40 as well. Well, let's give it to Algiers just to make them fight each other, hopefully. Alright, whatever. 40 gold. It's not much. Don't care. There goes our religious unity pro again. Again, it only gave us one gold, like 1.5 gold per year. It's just, it was complete crap. I hated it. All right, so let's check out our merchant situation. We've got one merchant there. This guy is f pushing that forward, generating a very, very small amount. That, that does come forward anyway. Right now, this node is exporting 0.35. We could probably get more if we were to pull money from Genoa. I think. Because this money's going to come here anyway, so his little 20% boost is really only increasing it from 0.35. It's it's generating 0 0.07 gold per year. That's really waste wasteful use of a merchant. So we'll just recall him. We do want to improve relations with Castile, just so that they are always here to protect us from everybody. In fact, let's do a royal marriage with Aragon, too. Why not? Couldn't hurt, right? All right, new merchant is going to go here soon in 17 days, 15 days, 13, 12. All right, we've got a new guy available. Can I wait till the 15th of January? How are we in second place? It's crazy. How does that happen? Apparently, we're in first in diplomatic rank. How does I, I want to? I'm curious about that. Country score, score comparison. interesting so for some reason our um, score is actually really high I don't get it uh, our monthly income was not uh, well let's just do this we're not going to war so we can afford to do this we can we have no revolt risk it's a beautiful perfect nation we're gonna be profitable we're gonna do the Dave Ramsey approach okay okay our merchant is gonna go from where he was to We'd be the only one pulling it from this direction, or we can pull more in this direction and boost it. I think that's good. So we'll do that. And should we use some of the ships? 
Probably not. Uh, naval supplies, cool. Can we boost stability yet? I do want to boost stability just one time. And take another month, two months. Okay, I don't have to worry about our missionary. That's the other thing, is that in my, my personal playthroughs, it takes you like 50 to 100 years until you have enough missionary strength to actually try to convert Sueta into something useful. So it's just, I hate that province. I think it's really dumb. I want to improve relations with you. And with you. Actually, no, I want to improve relations with the papacy. Papal state. So that hopefully we can start playing the papacy game. Excellent legitimacy. We've already taken the mission to improve our prestige, right? Yes. And we've got 18 prestige right now. So... I am going to start exploring right now. I want to wait until we actually start really exploring a lot before I... You know what? I'm actually thinking... What would the advantage be right now to having more stability? Extra stability would give us lower revolt risk. We have no revolt risk. It would give us missionary strength, which doesn't matter. It would increase the cost of stability, which doesn't matter. National spy defense, eh. Global trade power, eh. We don't really have a lot of... We just not, we're not very strong. The only real positive that really would matter is the national tax modifier plus 10%. And since we're making only 5 gold a year right now, 10% would just be 0.5 gold per month. So it's just, it's just not very much. So actually, I'm not going to spend any money on stability yet. Instead, we're going to just rush straight for colonization. Still, we are going to take advantage of that mission to get a free point in stability. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we're going to take, um, we're going to take two of our barks because they're faster. I want to go new unit and new unit. So, get rid of you guys. I want you to go over here. I know some people are going to be like, well, how come you're playing Portugal twice? And I, to my, my answer to that is because I want to do it better. Um, I think we did, I did really bad, so... We didn't play it properly! That's why this is proper Portugal. Okay, so we're gonna go explore, and the reason why we're gonna explore... See, we didn't know this last time. This time, we do know it. Is that you get ex you get prestige for exploring unknown sea zones. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna send one this way. We're gonna send one along the coast of Africa. And watch that prestige. Is it 18? Ready? Ready, ready? Ready? Here it goes, ready? 18? And boom! 20! Look at that. So we're just gonna explore a bit, up to 50 prestige. Get that first little boost to stability, which would be sweet. And uh, and then we'll just kind of wait until we have enough points to start colonizing. Now I've also, something else that I've learned that's really important, is that you can very easily colonize Africa in the very beginning of the game if you bring your military down and just protect the, the colonies. Again, I, I apologize, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I was just really bad. You can also attack these other people if you fabricate a claim on them and take all their money. So you can be positive on assets. Now, we are starting to suffer a little bit of attrition, which I don't like, but... One thing I've found that's kind of convenient if you're exploring in two spots at once is notice this little arrow right there. See how that one just stopped? That means that he reached his destination. So now I can go over here and I can wait until that one changes to a not arrow. Like that. And now I know that it's time to go back. Pretty convenient. Up to 36 prestige now. Unfortunately, we are suffering a little bit of... This This guy's not going to really have too much too much of a problem, because he's inland. He's not going to actually suffer much of a of a hull damage thing at all. But the other guy, this guy is going to fall apart if we explore for too long. I think he, you can pretty safely go down to about 60 or 50% before he uh, starts to, to really be in the danger zone. Alright, we're almost up to 50 Yeah, I think that'll be just about enough. Oh, the other guy's already there. We're going to actually continue to explore, though, because I want to get as high in prestige as possible. The prestige helps out with morale. Um, it lowers... all kind. It gives you all kinds of good stuff. Better relations over time. Yearly legitimacy goes up. Papal influence. Legitimacy helps everything. Helps diplomatic reputation. 
Okay, Portuguese English English relations would gain us some more prestige. Fortify conquest of Tangier. Nope, not doing it. We're not interested in war, we're interested in colonization. Let's check our relationships. We have just two out of four. We don't have an alliance with Aragon. Can we get an alliance from Aragon, please? Um, we'll stop improving relations with him for a moment. Request an alliance with Aragon and probably try for a... I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see. But um, I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to keep these probably between 15 and 20 minutes. In the previous series, I had a tendency to get kind of long. Sometimes it'd be 25 minutes. So I will see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon.